Let's have a look at some properties of our sigmoid function. So this is the definition. The sigmoid function of x is defined as 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power of minus x. And if we were to plot this, we would get something like this. So this function becomes almost 0 uh, yeah, for, for very negative x and almost 1 for large positive x. And um, it will get very useful to us, and also those properties that we will now prove will um, turn out useful. So first, in order to show this property, we will start on the right-hand side, 1 minus sigma function of x. And I will just fill in the definition from here. And in order to perform this subtraction, we will turn this 1 into a fraction and um, yeah, build a common denominator so that um, we can actually perform this subtraction. So this 1 becomes something divided by 1 plus e to the power of minus x. And then up here, we also have to get the same. This is our 1. And this just stays the same. And yeah, now we are able to subtract. And this one gets erased and we just get e to the power of minus x. And we have one fraction now. And in order to get rid of this part over here, we will um, actually multiply with the one, which we will convert into a fraction again, which is e to the power of x divided by e to the power of x. And um, yeah, multiplying works just by multiplying uh, the different parts of our fraction. So we get e to the power of minus x times e to the power of x. So this is e to the power of minus x plus x. And this is e to the power of uh, 0, which is 1. And here we get 1 times e to the power of x plus, again, e to the power of minus x plus x. So this part over here is 1, this part over here is 1. So we get 1 divided by e to the power of x plus 1, or just 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power of x. and if we look closely, we can see that this is just our definition, but with a negative sign. So double negative minus x. And yeah, this is just sigmoid of minus x. And what does this actually mean? Um, so if we have a look at this plot, then we can see that there's a point symmetry in this point and we even proved this with this um, yeah, equation over here. So normally if we have a curve that is um, point symmetric with our origin 0, 0, then we would get something like this. Uh, let me leave some space here. So this over here would mean point symmetry in the origin. But if we have a look at our equation that we just proved, we see that we must add something here, which is 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.5 in each case. So if we were to add this again on both sides, we would exactly get this over here. And this is exactly the definition of point symmetry um, not in the origin, but shifted by 0 0.5. And that's our first property.